Welcome to the Be Amazing At channel. This free science lesson is the final video in the series. It will give you some top tips so you can be amazing at exam questions and you can test your understanding of elements, compounds and mixtures. In the first video, we looked at how to describe, explain and apply the ideas. And in the second video, we looked at how to revise and memorize them. This chemistry video is designed to test your understanding of elements, compounds, mixtures and molecules. These are retrieval tasks, so you should try and complete the questions without using your notes. That way you can identify what you do and don't know. Pause the video while you answer each question and then you can mark it using the answers at the end of each section. Now you should mark your work using the answers on the screen. But don't just tick or cross them, try annotating and facing them as well. Based on your answers, how confident are you on this topic? If you struggle with these questions, it would be a good idea to re-watch the tutorial video and go over your notes a few more times. If you are confident, then carry on to the next section, where the questions ask you to explain and apply the ideas. Remember to pause the video whilst you answer each question. Underlining keywords or information is a really good exam technique. You can also annotate the questions to help you plan your answer. Now you should mark your work using the answers on the screen. But don't just tick or cross them, try annotating and facing them as well. Sodium oxide is a compound because it's made of different elements, sodium and oxygen, and they're chemically joined or bonded together. 24 karat gold is a pure element because it only contains one type of atom. It only contains gold atoms. Both Tia and Mirza are correct, as water is both a molecule and a compound. Molecules and compounds have atoms which are chemically joined or bonded together. But compounds always contain different types of atoms which are joined together. Whereas molecules can sometimes be made of the same type of atoms which are joined together. In questions like these, Many pupils miss the first clue that it says key words, so you need to pick more than one answer for this mark. Ozone is an element and a molecule. The second clue is that the next question says choices and that it's worth two marks. It's an element because it only contains one type of atom. It's a molecule because the oxygen atoms are chemically joined. The salt water is a mixture. 
It's a mixture because it contains different substances or chemicals. It contains the salt, sodium chloride and water, but they are not chemically joined together. It can be described as impure and they can be separated. This question links to other topics on interpreting formula and balancing equations. The links to these videos can be found in the description below. Because there's so much going on in this question, annotating the question really helps. You need to look for all the clues in the question, and I've highlighted them in blue. You would get one mark for drawing the carbon dioxide and water molecules correctly. The clue for these is in the formula above the box. The next two marks would be for the correct number of molecules. You need to draw three molecules of carbon dioxide and four water molecules. The clue for these are the big numbers at the front of carbon dioxide and water. Before we finish, have a think about how confident you are at describing, explaining, and applying the concepts of elements, compounds, mixtures, and molecules. If you're feeling confident, then why not try some more questions in the workbooks on the website beamazingart.com and have a go at the next videos in the series. I hope you found the video useful and feel happier or more confident. Please remember to share, like and subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when the next videos come out. Thanks for watching and until next time, be safe, be kind, be amazing.